subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand self-dual functions. In our previous class, we have clear seen what is meant by principle of duality. So what is meant by, we will just have a recap of that. And if you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. Because the understanding of principle of duality will help you a lot in understanding self-dual functions because both are related. So what is, we will just have a recap of the, our previous concept which is principle of duality. What is the principle of duality? Whenever a circuit is given uh, a positive uh, logic and if that positive logic has been changed to negative logic, so what happens in the circuit is the AND gate will be converted to R, the AND will be converted to R and the R will uh, get behaved as a AND gate and 0 will be converted to 1 and 1 will be converted to zero so this is what we call it as principle of duality now what is meant by self dual function a function is said to be self dual a function is said to be uh, self dual if its dual is equivalent to the given function given a function if you try to find the dual duality of the function dual of that function and the dual of that function is uh, is uh, is again giving the original function it is what we call it as self dual function so in that way it may not be able to understand so given this function here we are given with a function f of x comma y comma z is equal to xy plus yz plus zx so given this function is this function self dual or not so in order to determine whether it is self dual or not what we have to do is we have to find the dual of the function and we have to derive that the dual of that function is going to derive the original function so what is the dual of this function the and gate will get converted into or gate so this is AND gate operation and it will get converted into OR gate and OR gate will get converted into AND gate and similarly this is the dual of the above function. Now what we have to prove is we have to prove that this function is equal to so if you simplify this function it has to derived it has to be derived like this so if it is able to derived if we can be able to derive uh, this function into that function so those kind of functions are called as a self dual functions if the functions are uh, will are uh, will be able to be derived to the original function those functions are called as a self dual function so uh, we will try to simplify it if you try to simplify it this is what we call it as distributive law so what does the distributive law states x plus yz so this this x plus yz will be distributed so x plus y will be distributed over this operator uh, and operator so what does that mean is so this this is equal to x plus y so the discussion of uh, all these concepts has been clearly made in our previous video please watch our previous videos and every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a uh, entire course our suggestion is to follow the entire course or the playlist and the discussion for and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now uh, the distributive law x plus is distributed over this dot operator which is x plus y is equal to y plus z so x plus y z can be represented like this so what what's what what this uh, what this is representing x plus y is equal to x plus z so what this part is representing is it is distributive law so in what way it is distributive law is it is y plus x z sorry y plus x z see here y plus x z is equal to y plus x y plus x into dot y plus z y plus z so the remaining part is this one now if you expand this now if we expand this it is equal to yz yz plus yx plus xzz plus xxz xxz so this uh, xzz 
वाई जेड प्लस वाई एक्स सो दिस इज दिस कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू एक्स जेड बिकॉज जेड जेड इज इक्वल टू जेड जेड डॉट जेड इज इक्वल टू जेड सो इट इज एक्स जेड एंड एक्स डॉट एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स 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 जेड इज इक्वल टू एक्स जेड सो वी कैन कंसिडर ओनली वन सो द फाइनल इक्वेशन इज गोइंग टू बी एक्स वाई प्लस वाई जेड सो इफ यू री राइट दिस इक्वेशन इट इज एक्स वाई प्लस वाई जेड प्लस जेड एक्स सो दिस इज सेम एज दट ऑफ द ओरिजिनल फंक्शन सो इफ एनी फंक्शन इफ एनी फंक्शन कैन बी डिराइव टू दिट्स ओरिजिनल फंक्शन द ड्यूएल ऑफ एनी फंक्शन द ड्यूएल ऑफ एनी फंक्शन कैन डिराइव कैन बी डिराइव टू इट्स ओरिजिनल फंक्शन सो देन दैट फंक्शन इज वॉट वी कॉल इट एज सेल्फ ड्यूएल फंक्शन ओके सो how to determine that a function is a self uh, self dual function so there is another way to determine so we cannot do all this uh, all this simplifications for each and every function but there is another way to determine uh, other another way to say that the given function is self dual or not and it is very easy way so what that way is a switching function is said to be self dual given any switching function we can say that this function is uh, self dual or not on what basis is uh, the given function is neutral if the given function is neutral then and the function must not contain mutu mutually exclusive terms if the given function is is a neutral function and if the given function does not contain does not contain is very very important so if the given function must not contain two two mutually exclusive terms so what is meant by mutually exclusive terms so a term is called as uh, a mutually exclusive term so what which terms are called as uh, mutually exclusive terms means the term obtained by complement complementing each value of term x is called as mutually exclusive term for example if you take three variables for example if you take three variables a b c so the number of possibilities the number of combinations that are possible are 8 so these are the number of possible uh, number of combinations that are possible with uh, uh, three variables so what what is meant by mutually exclusive terms means uh, uh, what is meant by mutually exclusive term means uh, a term obtained by complementing each value of term x for example if you take 0 so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 if we take 0 if we complement each and every every term in this term every value in this term it is going to be 1 1 1 so the these two are called as so the, the these two are called as mutually exclusive terms so uh, is called as mutually exclusive terms so now Uh, in this if you take uh, a, a term and if you complement it the term that has been obtained is called as mutually exclusive term for this term so 0 comma 7 is mutually or mutu mutually exclusive terms 0 comma 7 is a mutually exclusive term for example if you take 0 0 1 Zero 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 one. What is the mutually exclusive term for this? It is one one zero. So one comma six is a mutually exclusive term. For example, if you take two, if we take two zero one zero, the mutually exclusive term is one zero one. So two comma five are mutually exclusive terms. Three comma four are mutually exclusive terms. So in the combinations, in the eight combinations that are possible with three variables, the mutually exclusive terms are zero seven, one six, two five, and three four. So what does 
So this is what we call it as mutually exclusive term. When can we say that the function is a self-dual function? The function must be a neutral function. What is meant by a neutral function? The discussion about the neutral functions has been clearly made in our previous videos. Please watch those videos. So uh, uh, to have a, a quick recap, what is meant by re uh, uh, neutral function means? Whenever the min terms are equal to the max terms, then those functions are called as neutral functions. For example, here eight possibilities are there. In these eight possibilities, if uh, there are four ones, if it, here we have eight possibilities, if there are four ones and four zeros, so the min terms are equal to the max terms. This function is what we call it as mutually exclusive, sorry, neutral terms. So in order to determine whether the function is a self-dual function or not, what we have to check for is the function should be a neutral function. First rule is it should be a neutral function. And then there should not be any mutually exclusive terms. What does that mean is, for example, if the function is having zero, a term called 0 if the term 0 is there means there should not be the term 7 there should not be the term 7 so there should not be any mutually exclusive terms if both these conditions are satisfying means then the function is said to be a self dual function so we will try to understand it by using this example so the given example here here is the example consider the following functions so these are the functions uh, and uh, uh, these are these are three variable functions so these are three variable functions i forgot to mention it uh, these are three variable functions and which of the following are uh, self dual functions so for example if you take this is it a self dual function for it three variable the possibility the number of possibilities are eight so there should be four min terms and four max terms but we are having only three min terms can it be a mutually exclusive function no this is not a mutually exclusive function now if you take this is it a mutually exclusive function so for that the neutral 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 function condition has been satisfied now we have to check there should whether there are mutually exclusive terms or not if there are mutually exclusive terms then that is not going to be going to be a uh, 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 what do you call it is uh, self dual function so what are the mutually exclusive terms in uh, three variables it is 0 7 we have already seen it is 1 comma 6 it is 2 comma 5 and uh, uh, 3 comma 4 so these are the mutually exclusive terms for example if you take 0 so there is 7 so this is what we call it as mutual exclusion so if 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 any mutually exclusive terms are uh, if both that mutually exclusive terms are existing in a function then that is not a self dual function so this is also not a self dual function for example if you consider this function it is 0 1 2 4 see here 0 the mutual exclusive term 7 is it there no 1 so the second term is 1 so the mutual exclusive term is 2 uh, sorry 6 is it there no it is not there if you take 2 the mutual exclusive term is 5 is it there no it is not there similarly if you take 3 the mutually exclu exclusive term so here we have 4 if you take 4 is the 3 existing in the function no it is not existing so this is a uh, self dual function similarly if you take this 3 3 means 4 4 is not there 5 5 means 2 2 is not there 6 6 means 1 1 is not there 7 means the mutually exclusive term is 0 0 is not there so this is also a self dual function and this is a neutral function because we have eight min terms with three variables and in the given function we are having four min terms which means the min terms and max terms should be equal and here we are having four min terms and it is a neutral function and it is a mutually exclusive uh, no mutual exclusive terms are present in the function so it is going to be a self dual function okay so uh, 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 and uh, the points that we need to understand is a self dual functions the self dual functions are 
closed under complementation what does that mean that is that is complement of a self dual function is also a self dual for example if you take this self dual function so sigma of 0 1 2 4 so the concept of sigma sum of products and product of sums has already been discussed so uh, 0 1 2 4 so this is a self dual function the complement of this self dual function for example if you take all the terms here it is abc plus a, a B C plus uh, one is A B sorry A complement B complement C A complement B complement C complement A complement B complement C and uh, next one is uh, two two means A complement B C complement plus four means A B complement C complement that's the complement of this self dual function so what is the complement of this self dual function it is uh, a b c the complement of this term is a b c a b c bar similarly a b bar c plus uh, a bar b c so what are what are these terms it is 7 uh, 1 1 6 uh, z, 1 0 1 is 5 and this is uh, 0 1 1 which is 3 see here the self uh, the complement of the self dual function is also a self dual function if you check this if you check this function this function is also a self dual function 3 5 6 7 3 5 6 7 are you able to get the point it means that the self dual functions are closed under complementation if you apply complementation to the self dual function it is again going to be a self dual function okay and coming to the next point it is the number of self dual functions possible are 2 power 2 power n so uh, 2 power 2 power n minus 1 so how can we say that so we have clearly discussed about the number of functions that are possible so the discussion has been clearly made in a separate video uh, it is already done please watch that video so based upon that uh, if you if the function if the variables are boolean variables and the function is a boolean function the number of functions that are possible is uh, 2 power 2 power n so 2 power 2 power n and because you know to find the self dual functions what is meant by a self dual function the number of the in a function if the min terms are equal to max terms which means it is 2 power n minus 1 it is 2 power n minus 1 for example if you take three variables so this point you will get clarity if you watch the video on number of functions possible so it is uh, the number of functions that are possible with three variables is 2 power 2 power n okay so for example if you want to find the self dual functions in that the number of self dual functions in all the functions possible it is 2 power 2 power n minus 1 because n minus 1 means 2 power 3 minus 1 2 power 2 means 4 okay with 4 min terms and with 4 max term, max terms what are the number of functions possible it is 2 power 2 power n minus 1 okay so this is all about self dual function hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you